sorry it's been uh, all day. I haven't done anything for the vlog, but I'm now in Austin, Texas. Uh, whereas yesterday I was like an hour south of Austin. Uh, but this is my hotel room. I'm in the, the Hyatt House downtown. This is one of those that you go in. One of the cool things is they actually have a nice jazz, a nice jazz uh, radio station playing in here. Um, so really nice hotel room and uh, little pocket door. Well, I guess it's not a pocket door. It's just a big door on the inside. Not that I'll be using the door, but uh, nice bathroom. Very nice and shiny. I love the glass door. It's kind of cool. Very nice. I like this. I like when they put the towels in the shower area as opposed to under the counter like last night. You have to remind, remind yourself to bring it out. Very cool. Nice painting. Another long mirror. I don't think this will, oh, it does open. Ah, it's a door to hide all this stuff. And you got all your coffee things. You've got some nice glasses, mugs, coffee maker, bottle opener um, for your wine too. Is these magnets? Yep. They have a little magnet wall. Put up little things for you. A little if you want to eat something, I guess. Omelets. Borrows menu. You got the fridge. Which side is open? You think you'd want to open it the other way, but oh well. <laughs> Got a microwave too. I'm not sure if the other the other one had a microwave. Then we've got this is the king size bed. Nice lounger over there. Have a couple beers for later. Got some water, five dollar water. Nice ball lamp. Nice desk. I'm gonna have to upload all my stuff. Once again, lots of footage. I guess this is the heating unit, cooling unit, nice lamp, good art. Let's check this out. Oh, snap. Did you hear that? Ironing board, all stuff that you need. Hangers. I've only been here one night. We leave tomorrow. Again, this was a short trip. I wish I planned it a bit better, but this is all I could do. All right. So, uh, I'm going to freshen up and then we're going to go hit a couple bars in the downtown area. Uh, the guy downstairs told me about a few of them. I've got to shut this off. Oh, there we go. That was kind of, that was a nice touch. I really enjoyed that. Hyatt, I like the touch of the nice jazzy kind of music playing. If it was jazz, I wasn't sure. It was just nice mellow music after a long hectic day. You walk into your room, it smells really nice in here too. And you hear that nice music, you just wanna just crash right away. Anyway, so I'm gonna get my stuff organized and then we'll head out. And from now forward, it's just for you guys. Let's go. All right, all the files are moved off both of these cameras, this one and that one. Everything's done. Let's go bar hopping. Show you around the lobby first before we go. It's a nice hotel. That's a nice uh, outside there, the pool, little fire pit, little office area. You can get some food if you want. There's so much food around here in restaurants, you wouldn't want that. Hello. Look at this lobby. It's beautiful. We got a bar just around the corner. I'll show you around more when it's light out. So I think just over this way is the capital of uh, Texas. And we'll go and check that out first thing in the morning. Apparently there's a bar behind and you can hear them playing music right now. But it's a rock and roll kind of stuff so I want to hear some other kind of music right now but that's the Hyatt house right across is the Holiday Inn Express and Suites I think they were more money I can't remember but this is a beautiful hotel so we have to keep going south until we hit 7th 
Apparently 6th Street is a, another really good uh, happening spot. And Rainy Street. 6th Street, Rainy Street, and obviously 7th. And I love that building. It looks like a Bruce Wayne building. It's all glass at the top and all kind of looks like ice. Another thing I learned before I came here was there's amazing murals like this all over the city. You gotta find them. They're hidden on the sides of buildings like that. Mug shots, seven grand. So the gentleman at my hotel, he said this is the Driscoll Hotel and it's one of the oldest hotels around like from 1800s. It can't be that one. Maybe it's that. That looks really old. So this is the Driscoll Bar and Grill. It doesn't look like they have live music. That's kind of what I was going for. But it is... Oh, they have... No. So it is a very pretty, pretty cool looking bar. Let's look at the ceiling work. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm just gonna take a peek. Beautiful doors. Uh, I'm gonna have Dose and Corona. Those are probably the closest things to a lager. And, and what's the fireman's like? It's a blonde ale. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Sounds great, yeah. Thank you. All right, so, fireman's. We got a nice little live van going. shot movies here. Check this out people. Holy cow. I'm so glad I saved this for the vlog just for you guys. Because that is phenomenal. Look at the size of this painting. Look at this place. It's gorgeous. It's better than that other hotel that we took a peek at. Uh, in uh, Milwaukee. This is amazing. All right, next one. One of the things they have are a lot of these bikes that you can just grab. I guess you have to like sign up on your app or whatever. Uh, and they also have a lot of scooters. I saw scooters more, just like this one. This lady back there, she looked like a ghost. It scared me. So here are more little scooters. That's how people get around. They're everywhere. So our next stop is the garage. I'm not sure if that is the speakeasy or not. There's one of them that's a speakeasy. I'm kind of hoping I get to that one tonight. I just can't remember which one. It is actually a garage. And it's called the garage. And I can't remember. I should have taken this path. Would have been better. <laughs> kind of creepy and cool at the same time. Ooh, neat. <laughs> That's not really my scene right now. If I was with other people, that would be kind of cool. But uh, let's move on to something else. The drinks are extravagant. It would be so nice to like talk to the owner and come back and go through some of the drink menu and uh, watch the guy make it. Cause it was the mixology that the guy was doing in front of me while I was looking through. I was kind of like keeping my eye on him. He was doing a great job. Uh, this battery might also die. So if that happens, I guess we'll have to jump to the uh, cell phone. All right, where to next? So this is the other side of the Driscoll. Again, it was built in 1886, but it's a thing of beauty. Look at that, man. I wonder how much it costs to stay there. I did see a hotel down here that costs around $5,000 a night, but I can't remember 
which one it was. And it could be that one. Very, could very well be that one. Buffalo billiards, shuffleboard. I can hear some live music coming out of that place called Friends. So, got a couple choices here. We've got uh, the Chunkin' Monkey and then Darwin's Pub. They both have live music, as you can hear, playing on behind me. And then Happy Chicks. But this cowboy, Midnight Cowboy, it is just down here. I want to try that one first. And then we'll come back. Maggie Mays. Lots of stuff happening on this street. So there's even more bars down that way, across the street and all the way up. I don't see this Midnight Cowboy place. Maybe it's gone and now it's called Thirsty X, uh, Austin, Texas. Huh. Shakespeare's Pub. Can't go wrong with that. Let's go in. Obviously not the kind of place you want to go on a Wednesday night. It's just not, not a whole lot of people, but they got Pong set up, which is kind of funny. Let's get a beer. Hello, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? All right, I'll just take, uh, it's a Shiner, is it Shiner beer? That's Shiner Bucket. 650? Yeah. So I guess Wednesday night is not a happening night, eh? It's not a what? Happening night. Um, it's just early. It's kind oh, of really? Like, like close to 11, it's weird. And then midnight on, it's way busier. Okay. These guys are having a good game of Pong. This is my first Shiner. So anybody from uh, Texas, shout out to Shiner. <sighs> These guys are pretty cool. Finish my beer. Time to move on to another bar, show you guys around. Looks like I missed some of the action. So apparently this is the Midnight Cowboy. And the only way to know that it's the Midnight Cowboy, because there's no signs whatsoever, is this red light. But apparently it's just to know a code to get in there. I don't know any codes. I didn't research it enough. But I guess we could try. Not 100% sure if this is the right thing to do. It could be somebody's apartment. I don't know. I was told, and there's like a camera up there. And they might not be letting me in. Two people just came out of the thing and he said there's no live music. It's all about the cocktails that they have in there. You need a reservation. And I asked him if there was any specific thing you need to do. Just make a reservation and you can get into the Midnight Cowboy. Move your car. This guy's double parked. Somebody's going to Somebody got in trouble. Another place those bartenders told me about was the firehouse. They reminded me that that one is the one with the speakeasy. And you had to push the bookcase open to get in where it's right beside the Driscoll Hotel. All right, so it's called the Firehouse Hostel. Let's go see. Hello. Oh, somebody opened it. Spoiled it. I'm sorry. I really ah, you it. spoiled it. I just you That's wrecked out. the it's, whole thing. It's up when I came here, but damn it. <laughs> so this I, is. I the, was trying to guess the book. <laughs> <laughs> so this the same thing happening in or, Orlando. Somebody came out just as I got in. So it looks like there's a lock. You just pull this open. Nice.
there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the firehouse. I really like reggae tone. It is fun. But the DJ and her friend... Sorry about that, guys. I was just finishing up this vlog that I'm editing right now and remembered that uh, on the night that I went on did all the bar hopping, the battery of this camera died and then I forgot to uh, finish the vlog off in Austin, Texas. So I'm finishing the vlog off now. I think the last thing I said was I was talking about the DJ and her friend. They were just, like I've seen DJs and they were like kind of like that next level of DJ because they were just dancing non-stop the whole time and she had this like rhythm. She was such an entertaining person that I sat there and I think I had two beers in that, uh, that, uh, in that bar uh, and then from there I just went back to the hotel watched some forensic files went to bed and that was pretty much the end of that night so thank you very much for following me along this little journey in Texas uh, finishing up in Austin Texas next next vlog will be uh, me leaving uh, going to a couple places and then we visit the Capitol building so look forward to that again thank you very much for all your support on the vlog channel and on the big channel uh, today the day I'm shooting this right now. It's about 12 hours, no, 12, 13, 14, about 14 hours after I launched the Bucky's video and it's got like 45,000 views. So super thank you very much to every single one of you guys because that video is rocking and uh, it's gonna go. Uh, hopefully it's just gonna go, go, go right through the stratosphere. Talk to you.